So why do I always keep coming back to the egg in my artworks? Artworks themselves are things that are made through the relationship between the artist and the audience. It's the kind of the overlap between the two things. And the artwork has to be a kind of floating signifier, a, a, a thing or an object that can mean something specific to a wide audience or to a group of people um, who all actually have their own terms of reference. They all have their own different ways of looking at the world, their own different ways of thinking about the world. And uh, for me, the egg was an amazingly important reduction of form, a reduction of idea, a, a symbol of birth, a symbol of life. Something that is often used in creation myths, something that is a signature of surrealism, something that appears in dreams, something that starts to talk about our desires or something that stimulates our fetishes or our repressed selves, something that appears to us in, in different forms, in different ways. And I think that there's always been this kind of sense that art has this subconscious dimension to it or somehow the, the, the dimension of the unseen, the dimension of the, the, the things about the world that we want to see and that somehow those desires almost start to carve out the way that we actually see the world. The egg is somehow democratic. People recognise it. They know what it is. I think often people feel distant from artworks because they can't see what it is. They can't find themselves in it. There's a kind of too much of a gap between them and the object. Whereas the egg is very recognisable. The egg obviously is quite a good place to start to have a joke for humour. The egg quite often appears in ridiculous situations. It's a mysterious object with a hard shell and a gooey inside. I've made lots of works with the egg shell and the egg form as well, that the egg is both a uh, an object symbol and a flat 2D symbol as well. These things I find quite relevant. Historically, the egg has a very strong history with art, as right up until the 16th century, it was the main form of paint. Artists used to use egg tempera, they used to use the yolks of eggs, mix it with pigment and some sort of binder or fixing agent, and that was the main paint they used. Female identity is also wrapped up with the symbol of the egg. A bit of architecture where it's like all door, so it's one great big door. As a small child, I was kind of protected by an egg in my dreams. If I was having a dream I didn't like, I could conjure up, or I could, if I could become conscious of it, I could conjure up this magical egg and it would rock in from the corner of the dream and then it would grow and grow and then block the dream out and I'd wake up. <laughs> 